Sometimes, DTOs have more validation rules than the entity itself. Let's see how JPA Buddy helps transfer existing validations from the entity to the DTO and add new ones on the fly. We use Hibernate Validator in the project to express and validate application constraints. In our project, we have order and customer entities. Note that some of the entity attributes are annotated with validation annotations. Let's assume we need an endpoint for creating orders, and start by writing a REST controller for it. Exposing entities via REST API may be considered bad practice. With JPA Buddy, we can create a DTO for the response right from the unresolved reference. Let's include all the basic fields in the DTO to enable precise data retrieval and analysis. As we can see JPA Buddy has already transferred the validation rules that were set in the entity for the name and status fields. Also, for the reference field, let's choose the new nested class type. JPA Buddy allows us to create a mapstruct mapper right from the same wizard. We only need to specify its name and package. Here we go. The mapstruct mapper and DTO are ready. Now, we need to create a DTO for the request. This time, we need all the basic fields except for the ID, since it will be assigned by the database and the ID of the customer. For the total price and quantity fields, we need to specify that the values should be greater than zero. Finally, the ID of the customer should not be null. To avoid creating numerous mappers in the project for each DTO, let's choose an existing mapper, and JPA Buddy will add the necessary methods to it. Great! Now, we need to map order request to order entity, save it to the database and return the saved entity as an order response. With JPA Buddy, we can complete all these tasks right in the current context. Invoke the desired mapping methods, and Buddy will inject the mapper bean and scaffold the code for us. To save an entity to the database, just start typing, save. JPA Buddy will generate the proper Spring Data JPA repository artifact and scaffold the method call. The special postfix completion provided by the plugin makes the process smooth and effortless. We use an exception handler to neatly display our constraint messages. Let's check that everything works as intended. First, let's pass a record with valid values. Now, let's try to save a record that violates the validation rules. Great, everything works as expected. Thank you for watching.